Zuccon E3 series also has a fair bit of inbuilt language capabilities. So as you can see, currently we're using in English. However, many companies have multiple um, sites and at the same time they deal with companies uh, across the globe. So currently speaking, all these texts in the sheet are actually set uh, in the multilingual. So I can actually come in, uh, I can go to my settings, I can change my languages. And I have two options. I can actually create a second language, otherwise I can change my main. So I'm just going to change it uh, just to Chinese at this particular point. And you actually see here that although the functionality of the software stays the same and everything is still just as usable, all the text here has actually become um, in Chinese. At the same time, these tables, uh, these folders, uh, when I created the text, they were created um, as a smart text as such. So all the language um, can easily be converted. So I'll change it back just for now and then I'll explain a bit further. Change it back to English. So as far as creating a text, I can come in, I can quite easily create a text. Now, if I search, um, I can go through my database and then I can actually select the keywords. So I can, um, all these words are actually in the database. Um, so I can actually use this to say connector, um, connected pin terminal, for example. Um, I can actually place that and place it here. So now that I have my text, it's quite simple. It's there. Um, it's going to display as the English as the defaults there. But as I change it, I can actually create a second, third, fifth language, and I can apply them. So once it's actually done, you can see I, in this particular example, because there's multiple languages, they're all placed one on top of each other. So should I need to, I can actually um, leave them blank, and I can actually change my main uh, accordingly. So the default language is that there, there's a fair bit, which does cover a fair bit of um, the globe. At the same time, once again, this is database driven. So you can actually include words and languages into the database should you need to. So the benefit of this is obviously allowing you to create one drawing um, that quite easily can be changed to suit any language needs. Um, from experience, a lot of our customers uh, currently or before using E3, we're actually having to re, um, recreate or translate the drawings from one language to another and obviously allowing for a fair bit of error and, and uh, misjudgment in between. At the same time, other drawings that we saw actually had for every time there was a text, there was one or two languages below it. Uh, as you can see, um, that gets quite complicated. But the benefit again is obviously the title block. Um, that's a, definitely a good one to have, um, which obviously maintains. So once you do change all your information within the sheet properties, um, it will change language, uh, but it'll still be accessible to you in your language UV system. So if you do have a site in a different country using their um, E3 series, they'll obviously be able to read it in their language. However, all the text within the drawing will be a smart text and will be able to translate accordingly. So you can see now that I've brought it back to English, it's actually brought these um, keywords in the tables back to English also.